You know, it would be great for a guy like me just to be in a coma. Huh? Wouldn't that be great? Nothing to do all day. You just crap out and breathe through a fucking tube. They feed you through a tube. There's nothing to do. Well, you talk about being a couch potato. That's it, man. No phone calls coming in. Nobody dropping by unexpectedly. And if they do drop by, you're completely unaware of it. Because you're in a fucking coma. And you're practically clinically dead. And you don't have to listen to their stupid shit. Their stupid shit, like about their new ride around lawnmower with the two-tone horn and the GPS in case they get lost on the lawn. And their boss and their job and their car and their kids. Jesus fucking Christ. Their kids. Folks, folks, nothing worse. Nothing worse than to be stuck somewhere with some married asshole and have to listen to him tell you about his fucking kids. Let me tell you something, folks. Nobody cares about your children, okay? You like that. You like that. No. Nobody cares about your children. I speak for everyone. I've been appointed by the rest of the group to inform you we don't care about your children. That's why they're your children. So you can care about them and we don't have to bother. But they tell you anyway. Todd is in the seventh grade now. He's in the cheese club. Giselle is five and already she's had nine periods. Johan is 11, and he pretty much sits around the house hallucinating all the time. <laughs> then they want to show you the pictures. Here's another ordeal. The pictures of these little gargoyles <laughs> that they have loosed from their loins. A lot of these professional mommies Boy, they think there's nothing better than having a baby. Oh, they think it's the biggest thing in the world. Like it's a big event, having a baby. I call it pumping out a unit. That's, that's all they're doing. That's all they're doing, pumping out a fucking unit. Boom. Boom. Like some of them like assembly lines, like a factory. Boom. Every fucking year. Boom. Hey, Jeff, want a kid? Boom. How about twins? Boom, 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 boom. Polluting the earth. Polluting the earth with these creatures who have no future. They have no future. Have you pictured what this planet is going to be like in 40 to 50 years? It's going to be a big smoking ball of shit. A big smoking, flaming, stinking ball of gaseous shit. That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. It's irresponsible to have more than one child. Have one. Have one child. Replacement value for yourself. That's all. Don't even replace your husband. Don't replace your husband. No. He's done enough fucking damage as it is. But they want to show you the pictures. Sometimes they warn you, you know, that's good. They say, hey, you want to see some pictures of my kid? No. <laughs> Just describe them to me. But they show you, and uh, there are two ways you can handle it. I have found two ways to handle the pictures. The first is the easy way. You just kind of take it all in stride, matter-of-factly, go along with the game. Ooh, huh? Boy. Mm. <laughs> girl. Yeah. Older boy. Older girl. Good. Four. Listen, I have to go wash my crotch. I'll see you later. <laughs> and you get the fuck out of there. Or you can do what I do. You can do what I do. Be a little honest about what you see. Take a chance. Tell the truth. Look at the fucking head on that kid. Jesus, where do you get a fucking head like that? Holy, that thing is huge. Have you put them on YouTube yet? 
Boy, you get a lot of hits with a head like that. Or put them on eBay, you might make a little money, you know? I'm sure some European circus would snap his ass up in a fucking minute, boy. God damn, that thing is unusual. <laughs> Listen, maybe he'll grow into it. You never know with kids, huh? Hey, let me ask you a practical question. Where do you find hats for a kid like that? <laughs> Tell the truth. Don't be bullshitting people. Don't be bullshit. There's enough bullshit as it is, folks. Just plenty of bullshit. Then they want to show you the pictures of the little girl whose second teeth are coming in. And they think it's cute. It's not. It's fucking horrifying. Did you ever take, did you ever look at the teeth on some of these kids? Did you ever take a good close look in the mouth? Did you ever look in there, see what's going on? Sometimes several rows of fucking teeth coming in. Coming in at all funny angles. There's one under the tooth, that's an, under the tongue, that's an unusual place for a tooth. A sublingual tooth, my God, look at that. Once again, tell the truth. You better start saving your money right now, pal. It's gonna cost you a fucking fortune to fix that. You are gonna need an international team of orthodontists around the clock. Just to make it dead. You might want to call FEMA. That looks like a real fucking problem to me. Look at it. Yeah, you have the number of the National Guard. Give them a ring. That's good. Listen, uh, why don't you just have them all pulled and let her start over again, you know? Or take a picture of her with her mouth closed. That would save you a lot of heartache in the long run. Listen, you're not Catholic by any chance, are you? Well, the reason I ask you is you might want to take her to Lourdes and pray for a miracle over there. <laughs>